Imagine a phone that doesn't need a SIM card, doesn't rely on any mobile network, and can still make calls. Sounds impossible, right? Oh, but back in 2016, a 19-year-old student from Namibia named Simon Petrus made headlines with a device that claimed to do exactly that. Fast forward to today, and Simon's story is once again going viral this time because of an AI-generated image. So what's the real story? Let's find out. Simon Petrus was a student at Abraham Iambo Senior Secondary School in Namibia. Teen, he entered a national high school science fair with a unique invention, a device that looked like a phone but didn't T require a SIM card or a cellular network to make calls. His goal, to build a system that allowed two people to communicate using radio frequencies. The device he built was made from recycled parts, an old landline phone, radio receivers, a fan, a TV antenna, and a coil. The setup used to weigh radio communication, meaning it could only connect between two specific devices over short distances. This wasn't a mobile phone that could call anyone. It was more like a walkie-talkie system. Still, it showed creative thinking and practical application of electronics. Recently, a digitally created image started going viral on social media. It shows a young man, supposedly Simon Petras, holding a large, futuristic-looking device with the caption, 19-year-old from Namibia creates a free phone that calls without any network. But the photo is clearly AI-generated, with unrealistic details like a rocket-shaped antenna, distorted buttons, and inconsistent design. This led to widespread confusion between fiction and reality. It's important to clarify. Simon Petrus, DID, build a communication device. But it wasn't a mobile phone, and certainly not a network-free universal phone. It was a school science project, an impressive one, but not ready for real-world commercial use. The viral image misrepresents the original invention and creates unrealistic expectations. It's a perfect example of how a generated misinformation can twist the truth. Still, there's a powerful message here for young people. You don't need fancy tools or big funding to start building. All you need is curiosity, creativity, and the courage to try. Simon Petrus may not have invented the next iPhone, but he showed what's possible when students are encouraged to experiment. His project earned him national recognition and inspired others to think outside the box. In the age of AI and viral content, not everything you see online is real, but the story of Simon Petrus reminds us that real innovation often begins with simple, handmade projects by people just like you. If you're a student or a parent watching this, remember, support curiosity, encourage hands-on learning, and always seek the truth behind the headlines. And if you found this story inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more amazing stories from around the world.